Any species who decided to go spelunking during the Pleistocene epoch, around 500,000 to 10,000 years back in Western Europe caves, would be treading into dangerous territory. Many of the caves were home to Ursus spileus, cave bears. They were also occasionally explored by hungry Panthera leospelaya, cave lions, searching for their next meal. But if the two ever met, it would certainly be interesting to see who would win in a face-off if a pride of starved caved lions stumbled into a cave occupied by an irritated group of cave bears, groggy from being woken from their cave slumber. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for more amazing pets content. With that being said, let's begin. The Cave Bear while some historical fiction, such as The Clan of the Cave Bear, would have us believe that early humans and cave bears interacted, they didn't actually share the same habitat in Europe during the Pleistocene Age. They were, however, likely worshipped by them from a distance. But there is little doubt about the existence of Ursus spelaeus, as paleontologists recovered thousands of cave bear fossils from European caverns. Many showed signs of death from old age or hunger, while others were victims of predators, with the cave lion being a prominent suspect among them. The Cave Lion While the Panthera leospelaya is termed a cave lion, these creatures didn't actually reside in caves, but since their bones were found frequently in the company of those of cave bears, they derived their moniker from the same source. Perhaps you've figured out the answer to how a cave lion's bones may have ended up near the cave bear. But if not, keep reading, and all will be revealed. Cave Bear Strengths The male cave bear was a terrifying sight to behold, weighing in at half a ton, and when standing on its hind legs, towering as tall as a staggering 10 feet. The females of the species are much smaller, but that does not make them not intimidating with a height of 7 feet and an average weight of 500 pounds. The massive paws, armed with razor-sharp claws, allowed the cave bear to land deadly blows on their enemies, a fate likely suffered by curious and hungry cave lions. These bears are thought to have lived in groups together in the caves, exhibiting a social order. Cave Lion Strengths while only slightly larger in size than the biggest species of contemporary lions, the cave lion weighed about 700 and 800 pounds, with a body length of about 8 feet from head to the tip of its tail, with a more powerful build, a thick neck and muscular legs. Ancient cave paintings also reveal that cave lions were pack hunters, meaning that multiple animals could have ambushed sleeping cave bears. They were even thought to use this group hunting technique to terrorize giant creatures including the mighty woolly mammoth. The other notable difference with modern big cats is that cave lions were more adapted to living in frigid conditions, unlike those now who rarely reside in anything but temperate climates. Cave Bear Disadvantages The Pleistocene Age in Europe was a bleak one, characterized by bitter cold climates, especially during the depths of winter. Much like their contemporary brethren, the Ursus spelaeus had so fattened themselves up on their favorite foods, most of the plant variety regardless of what many films have implied, and hibernated for the winters. With the entire den of cave bears asleep, there was no sentry to keep a lookout for predators roving the landscape. A cave lion wandering into a cave with a group of sleeping bears would have little trouble having themselves a stellar meal prize if they didn't make deadly mistakes. Cave Lion Disadvantages Like another big cat of its time, the saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon, for all its weight and power, the cave lion was a relatively slow-moving creature. That means that chasing down prey was usually a futile effort by the ancient big cat, so it had to rely on ambush tactics to take down unsuspecting prey. This leads us to the cave lion's greatest weakness. Its success rate of taking down prey was quite poor. This same problem afflicts modern big cats as well. A few subsequent unsuccessful hunts and the energy that the big cat needs for sustenance wanes, then eventually fizzles out. Too many missed meals results in starvation. Cave bear versus cave lion. How it likely happened. Cave lions roaming the bleak northern European landscape, searching for a meal in the dead of winter. They pass some caves that normally the animals would have no interest in exploring for food. 
likely knowing the massive killers who live inside. But the survival of the pack is at stake, and the Panthera Leo Spelaya are desperate for food. The risk of spelunking becomes worth the payoff. The cave lions furtively enter the caves, entering one at a time as they peer through the darkness at the shapes of hibernating cave bears along the cave's walls. A smaller sized female, only about 300 pounds, somewhat separated from the other bears, lies to the side. The cave lions set their sights on her. As one of the lions is ready to attack, it instinctively releases a guttural growl and leaps at the smaller female's neck. However, the growl is loud enough to wake a sleeping male cave bear nearby. While initially groggy, the alpha bear eventually makes his way to his feet, waking some of the surrounding bears as they begin to sense a disturbance and arouse their wakefulness. Battle time. Now the lions are caught with the angry cave bears realizing what is occurring around them. Realizing they're in imminent danger but unwilling to part with a potential meal, the cave lion pack attempts to drag the smaller female out of the cave and into the snow. But two large cave bears block their path, dimming the majority of the light entering the cave from its entrance. One of the cave lions suddenly catches a giant well-aimed blow to the head from a massive paw and falls unconscious. The other bear grips another cave lion and attempts to lift it to apply a deadly bear hug. The lions must defend the pack, so a third cave lion jumps onto the back of the assaulting bear, sending all participants down into a tumbling, battling heap. Here a major bloodbath ensues. Two of the cave lions are killed, but not before taking out two cave bears. And while the scene is in chaos, the hurt but maneuverable cave lion crawls out of the cave's entrance, likely carrying in his teeth a body part of one of its fallen opponents. Is there truly a winner in this situation? The sole lion remains to feast, while the bears get rid of the attackers after multiple casualties. But the cave lion does get a part of what he showed up for, though losing the pack in the process. bringing you more value per minute than any other pets channel out there, or at least trying to. We would appreciate if you at least like or share this video. That would mean the world to us.